What's up, Emma? <clears throat> Lolo. What's up, Emma? So I got a message for you. And he just wants you to stop being so hard on yourself. You know? When the devil attacks, he tends to bring up things we've done, things we can't control. Try to put fear in our heart. Try to put doubt. When the devil attacks, he comes for our plan in our life. He doesn't come to directly harm us physically. He comes to harm us spiritually. He comes to come for our joy, still kill and destroy. But sometimes we can't control that. And God just wants you to stop being so hard on yourself. Maybe you were supposed to fall to that sin because it will open your eyes to the reality of what's going on. Maybe you were supposed to run into that wall and get knocked back. Maybe God put that wall there because if he didn't put that wall there, you're going to fall to a trap of an enemy. So he wants you to stop being so hard on yourself because he already knew that that was going to happen. He just rode around it. You fell into it, now you gotta get back up and keep moving. Yeah, you've done that in your past. Yeah, it keeps, it's gonna keep bringing that up. You're gonna be like, Mav, you don't even know what I did five minutes ago. That's cool. It's in the past. Past. When you walk forward, there's no looking behind because when you look behind, you think about going back. Got to keep your eyes moving forward. So when you fall, get back up and keep moving forward. Because you're not going to gain anything by just moving backwards. You're not just moving backwards, thinking backwards. What I mean by that is, yes, I'm spiritually moving forward, but I'm thinking about all the things that I've done. Now you're thinking backwards when you're trying to move forward. You got to think forward to move forward. So, when the enemy comes to attack you, whenever it may fight be, through people, through songs, through video games, through shows, just know he's coming to steal, kill, and destroy. But the Lord is here to give you life and life more abundantly, so you have to get in your word. You have to pray. You have to trust. Be like, okay. I don't got to do nothing because the Lord is going to handle me. Because when you worry and you stress, spiritually, you're trying to jump back in that fight. You're trying to jump and fight the enemy yourself. Think of it as you in a boxing match. And you fighting with this big, ginormous monster. And you got God on your side that's 30 times bigger than that monster, right? And he's like, you know what? Let me fight this for you because you might not win this one. Let me fight this one for you. So you're like, okay, you got it. You surrender. But then, but then you, you sitting back and then he fighting and then you start to think, dang, if I would have fought that monster, imagine what he would have did to me. Whoa. I can't, I can't take this on. God can't handle this. I can't handle this. Then you're like, okay, I'm going to try to help God. I'm going to jump back into that battle. And now you're getting beat up. You're getting in the way of God because you're trying to fight the battles God is fighting for you. Sometimes you just got to stop being so hard on yourself and just let God do what he does. Because we just get in the way when we try to do things our own way. When we try to do things our own way, it's our fleshly way. We What we think is right. What we think is right. And we already know how that goes when we think what the world is right. We end up getting deceived. Earth, the world is the devil's playground. He comes to deceive, steal, kill, and destroy whatever you have on in Christ. So you have to let Christ do what Christ knows what to knows how what to do. 
You have to let Christ do what it does. Because you can't mix the flesh with Christ. When God does what he does, he does it spiritually. He does it unseen. But when he does it unseen, it happens in the natural. It happens seen. Because he's that powerful. He happens, he does it through bodies. So you have to let him fight them battles. Because right here in, a, in Ephesians 6, 12, we're not fighting against flesh and blood enemies. We're fighting against the evils, the evil rulers and authorities unseen of the unseen world, against the powers in the darkness world, and against evil spirits in heavenly places. So we're fighting against unseen enemies. So you have to remember, God is unseen. Right now he's unseen. He's hidden his face from us because we're in end times. So he's fighting the unseen enemy in unseen places, but he's known, he's seen. I, people had eyewitnesses. So he's fighting your battles here, then a natural and an unnatural. So you have to stop being so hard on yourself that it's not going to work out or this is going to happen or that's going to happen or thinking about what you did or what you're going to do. Just be right now. Think about what you can do right now to help God. Pray. Read your Bible. Talk to somebody about God. Try to save somebody. Think about what you can do to help God. Think about what you can do to help God's kingdom. And don't be so hard on yourself for what is, quote unquote, natural for the human body. It's normal. They've made it sin. The devil has made it normal to sin. The devil has made it normal to mess up. And trust me, it is. We're half flesh. And have flesh or have sin. We're naturally embodied in sin. It's in our nature. So don't be so hard on yourself when you do fall. All you can do is get back up and keep moving forward. And know that Jesus is still fighting your battles no matter what. Because he's just written in his Bible. If we come to the Lord and say, I repent, I repent, he will forgive you. So when a brother or sister comes to you, Thanks for forgiveness and say, I repent or repent, you need to forgive them. Because how could you not forgive somebody when your Heavenly Father forgives you? So, I don't know who needed this message, but I love y'all. And it's nobody but the devil coming for you. Remember that. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Jesus loves y'all.